Talk Radio brings you news and information at Stimulating Talk Radio on the Harlem community. We cover business, education, entertainment, health, politics, technology, finance, and lots more. What's going on, everybody? This is Turn Off the Radio, and I'm your host, Omni Blaze. Um, I'm here with the lovely Janice. A.K.A. Miss J. That's what's up. So... Uh, basically, what my show is going to be about is what I said, turn off the radio. Now, of course, I wouldn't tell you to turn off Harlem Talk Radio, but what I'm talking about is the commercial radio and several other artists that they have there. There's always alternatives, um, and a lot of them are some of your local artists that we need to support. Um, so that's basically the premise of my show, giving you opportunities to find out where to find these people. Um, also some of you other artists out there who are also trying to have successful careers we're going to try to interview some of those artists and maybe they can give you tips and pointers on how you can become a successful independent artist as well now a little bit about me um, I'm also an artist myself this show is by an artist for artists so you guys are my main concern um, I've been emceeing singing for about Ugh. A long time. So a long time. You're going to have to sing oh, something, okay? Oh, I'm going to have to sing something. You're okay. have to sing something. Are oh, you trying to put me on the spot? Yes, right I now. am. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What, you know what? Let me see. You know, I'm going I'm to I'm sing some Stevie. Stevie is my biggest influence, by the way. Stevie. So let me sing some Stevie. Uh, Over time, mm-hmm. I am building my castle of love. Just for two, though you never knew you were my reason. I've gone much too far for you now to say that I've got to throw my castle away. I'm, ded- I'm dedicating that to Janice. Oh, my God. We're building <laughs> sand castles, real castles with bricks and mortar. Exactly. Oh, my God. That was yep. amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, um, sing, I MC. I've actually been playing several instruments. I play the guitar, the bass, the keys. So um, I have a bit of background. Um, it's also insight on different venues. So that's what our show is going to be about. Um, actually, I was looking on the web. Um, on the internet today, I was on Billboard.com, and I was just trying to look at and get an idea of what songs are popular right now. I was looking at the the rap category and uh, the hip hop R&B category, which to me looked about the same. I don't know how they make the distinction, but if you look at it, I feel like there's a, a monopoly on the music that's being played. If you look at let's 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 take top rap songs, okay. top five rap songs. First song is Headlines by Drake. I actually kind of like that song though. Um, the next one is I'm On One, which is by this DJ Khaled. I don't even know what DJ Khaled does, to be honest. <laughs> but he kind of just okay. collaborates. And it's got okay. Drake, okay. Rick Ross, and Lil Wayne. I love my Rick Ross. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We, 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 we'll be talking about him, you know. <laughs> even though um, he doesn't say anything. Number three, <laughs> She Will, Lil Wayne featuring Drake. Okay. Then we got four um, songs called Marvin and Chardonnay. Um, Big Sean is who this song's by. Big Sean and uh, Kanye West, and then five and six. I'm a little disturbed that, but you know, this is Jay Z, Kanye West, the two of them. You know what? Ot- I like Otis. Okay. Otis is number six. I like Otis, but then that it's got this ends in Paris. This is, that the, the, the title kind of disturbs me, but we'll talk about that. Ends in Paris. Yeah, the N word in Paris. That's what it is. The N word yeah, in Paris. N word in Paris. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. It's a great way to refer to yourself. Uh, but, you know. So if we look at the mm-hmm. first... Let's look at the first three. There's a monopoly. Drake and Lil Wayne monopolize that. And they're all on the same crew. Young Money. Right. Um, Number four, this guy, Big Sean. I call him Lil Drake because he sounds like Drake. I couldn't tell at first who it was. So I guess what I'm looking at is the fact that you turn on the radio and within a given hour you hear maybe... Maybe five songs. Okay. You know, and there's a lot of other artists out there that actually have good music, if not better, but they just don't have um, the avenues to do that. Right. You know, and even if we look at this R&B and hip hop category, it looks identical. 
So it's like these guys are monopolizing the billboard, but there's so many other talented artists out there that also need um, some light. Well, why, why, why do you think that that's possible? Why, why are they monopolizing the billboard? That's the thing. Um, I really feel like, I guess it's just modern day payola. Like I feel like they have to pay these DJs to spin their stuff, and it's just like overkill. I got if you. you hear a song ten times a day, whether you like it or not, when you first hear it. By the end of the week, you'll be singing exactly. that song. Exactly. It's familiar. Subliminal. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. I was actually mixing a song for an artist. I had a friend over there. This I literally was listening to the song for hours. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't a good song. It wasn't a good song. It wasn't okay. a good song. But at the, I'm talking about by the time he left, he was singing the song and was upset with himself. So I was like, you know what? It's it's just how the radio works, mm -hmm. and I guess it's what you're willing to sacrifice mm -hmm. as an artist. What comes to mind is uh, Brown Sugar. Is that the movie oh, Brown love, Sugar, where yes. uh, Tay Diggs went yes. to the radio station and, and sat there. said, "I'm <laughs> I'll be back every day." Exactly. Every day. Exactly. <laughs> the woman is just just leave it there. Just exactly. Leave. Yeah, that's 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 the picture that I get yeah. when. You know, I think about people trying to break into the business because I think that there is a, a, a status quo. Mm -hmm. It has to sound a certain way. People have to look exactly. a certain way. And God forbid if you don't have women in your video shaking their big old behinds now. Exactly. You know, so. That's that's a prerequisite. That's necessary. Well, but, you know. I don't know I about mean, big, <laughs> booty, big Booty 101. Exactly. Know. Exactly. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> exactly. But I think like you said though, it, it really is more than just the music now. Like I I mean, if you look at some of the artists back in the, that had successful music, I mean they weren't they weren't some of the best looking folks. I mean, but their music spoke for themselves. Right. Now it's a product. Right. Like I call it the machine. Right. You have to look a certain way. Right. You have to be able to appeal to, you know, right. brown folks and white folks. And Talent doesn't really matter. I think talent right. may be the smallest percentage of what people are looking for. You have to look good because this is the video era, internet, MTV. And MTV doesn't even play videos anymore. Mm -hmm. It's mostly reality shows. Mm -hmm. But because of the internet and those things, everything is the visual. Okay. If you don't look good, they won't purchase your well, product. Who, who determines what looks good? Because, you know... Necessary the, the the big behind and big boobs isn't necessarily a look good. You're right, but what I think a lot of these oh. um, labels, what they do is they they figure they're speaking to a certain dynamic, so they're like, okay, this dynamic will like this, you know, and and that's why I think when I was talking about that compromise, like that, I mean, I think it's a compromise that some of these artists have to make mm -hmm. to get to a certain level of success. Mm -hmm. Those that don't make these compromises, they get success, but there's always a cap. Okay. Like, for example, let's take a common, you know, right. or even a most deaf. Right. You know what I'm saying? And these I love my, them. Oh, yeah. These are my favorite MCs. Mm -hmm. But there's only a certain level commercially they'll get to, which is why they have to do the acting and they do these other mm -hmm. things, you know, to get their bread. But you have somebody who's like, look, I just need you to do this. We've got the songwriters, we've got auto tune, doesn't matter if you sing out of tune or not. Mm -hmm. And they package this they package this product. That's so brown sugar. Exactly. That's exactly. because most deaf was in brown sugar and then they had those what it those uh, rapid uh, Dalmatian uh, rinitin, 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 <laughs> rinitin, <laughs> the rapping Dalmatian, the rapid Dalmatian whatever they were and it it that movie speaks to exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And uh yeah. where do we set the where do we set the bar? Yeah, setting the bar is, um, I guess, where the question is, you know, where is that? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> what, what, what? We're going to list the five top things artists After do wrong during a lot. You know what? That's actually a good question. <laughs> five, top five things that artists do wrong during a show. Wow. Okay. They grab uh, their crotch. Grab their crotch. Only Michael Jackson exactly. can grab his crotch. And it'd be well, acceptable. Not anymore. He, well, right. <laughs> rest of, God rest of that. Yes. But he's the only person that even Prince didn't grab his crotch. Oh God, no. You know. And he's um, amazing. Oh yeah, he's that guy's a beast. Okay. Um, having a show and I can't tell who the MC or the singer is because you got fifty dudes on the stage with you performing. With their shirts open. With their shirts open, <laughs> yelling and screaming. And chest hair. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
Yes. Or lack of a chest, looking like a pencil. Yes. You know. With Tim's. Exactly. Yo, 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 yo. Wave exactly. your hands in the air. Yo, 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 yo. That's exactly. all they say. That's all they do. Um. So that that would be two. Yeah, that's two. Okay. That's two. Um. Ah. Uh, cursing at the crowd. Yes. I have um. There was one show I went to, and. I mean, his music was okay, but people weren't really getting into it. And he got mad because wow. nobody was into his show. Obviously, you need to go back to the drawing board. Right. So. Right. That's, right. that's three. That's three. That's three. Ah, uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me. Using the N-word. Oh. I think a lot of people can get that, that, that violation. We need to make some kind of violation for that. And I'm like tired a bell, of hearing uh, about itches and O's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny talking about the N-word I was listening to, um, I think it was Hot 97, okay. and they were talking about The View mm-hmm. and how Whoopi Goldberg used the N-word, right? She used, I guess she was making a point, but then Barbara Walters was, I guess, piggybacking off that point, and she used the N-word, but I guess she put a little bit of the ER at the end of it. Oh, my goodness. And they're like, oh, you know what? When Whoopi said it, it was okay, but when you said it, I took offense to it. It's the er. You don't add the er. You know, but then my question <laughs> is... If it's really that offensive, why use it at all? And that's always been, you know, my argument. If you know, you know, uh, you with your people and using this word and some white dude comes in and uses that word in the context, why are you getting upset with him, you know? That's what I I'm agree with you. But, you I know, agree with you. But I digress. All right, so now we still got to find one more. We got to find, we gotta uh, find a fifth one. Let's see. Um, 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 During a live I, show. I said itches and O's. Oh, uh. if you're... <laughs> <laughs> If you're um if you're rapping at a show, and sometimes these MCs, they don't even do live performances. If they have the vocals on the track, and you stop rapping and the words are still going. Oh wow! Matter of fact, that should be number one. Lip syncing. Don't use a track if you can't lip sync your words. <laughs> Another show, this guy was rapping, forgot his words, and the track was still going. Oh my. So yes, we will be addressing some of these different things, like live show etiquette, people. We will be addressing. I like that. that. Live show etiquette. We will address. I like that. I there should so. be live show etiquette one hundred and one. Live show etiquette. I agree with you. I think so. I think so. Now, let's see what else. Oh, there's actually an artist. Well, there's two artists that are uh, on a local level. They're kind of getting up there a bit. That I actually enjoy listening to one of them her name is mavis swan pool okay. if you guys want to google her she does a lot mavis m-e-v-i-s swan as in swan pool p-o-o-l-e today's actually her birthday happy birthday happy birthday mavis and tomorrow she's having um i guess a performance slash birthday celebration slash Something with Libras, I well, guess. Well, let us know where. Oh, yes. It's actually going to be at the Zinc Bar. Okay. And that's 80, 82 West 3rd Street. Okay. It covers $8. I'm going to be I'm there. I'm going. So, oh, okay. Let's, well, let's, let's hit it up. Wonderful, because I'm, I'm definitely going. Okay. Um, if you guys want to, you know, come and get to meet me, um, definitely I'll be there. Excuse me. Okay. Us. And, 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 and AKA Janice. AKA Miss Janice. I'm Blaze and Janice will be in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget me. Oh no, I'm not gonna forget that. I'm <laughs> and Janice will be in the house. Yes. Um, she's doing a lot right now. She's actually been on tour, um, doing background vocals for Lauren Hill. Ooh, sounds oh, good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's actually done some things with um, Buckshot from Black Moon okay. and um, Ninth Wonder. is producing some stuff. So she's doing some big things. Um, another artist that he's actually he's actually my gauge. Like, I always look at someone's like, okay, that's the level I need to get okay. to. This guy, masterful keyboard player. Um, he's probably one of the best I've seen playing and singing at the same time. Great voice. Um, his name is Chris Robb. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have seen any of John Legend's tours, but he was like the, the musical director for the tour. Well, John um, Legend is amazing. Exactly. He has and, to be amazing. Oh, this, I'm telling you, when you see this guy... Hands down, he's one of the better local artists I've seen. Um, he's also got his latest single called, uh, you know, I, I'm going to have to check this out. Sex, Money, and Drugs. We're going to have to check out what this song's about. So you've about. never heard it? Not this particular one. Sex, Money, and Drugs. Yeah, so we have to check it out. His other music, I have heard. He reminds me kind of like 
Stevie Wonderish. But this particular song, the title, bothered me a little bit. But we will check it out. It's actually going to be in Tyler Perry's upcoming film called We the Peoples. Oh, that so, sounds amazing. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to check Chris, it out. Chris, his see. name is Chris? Yeah, Chris Robb. You can also check him out at chrisrobmusic.com. Um, Congratulations, Chris. Exactly. That's, that's, Tyler that's Perry's big a things. big deal. Some big things. Other things going on locally. Um, we'll get back to after. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna continue then. <laughs> almost had so, a breaky break. Yeah, just, just, just almost. But uh, <laughs> yeah. So um, other things going on locally. Um, we spoke about Mavis's birthday yes. performance on the eighth. It's another spot where I'm gonna be. They have this free event. Um, that's being. Promoted by Lyricist Lounge and Restoration of the Bed Stuy the Bedford Stuyvesant Restoration Corporation called um, Restoration Rocks. It's in Brooklyn. It's outside. I think it starts around 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Yeah. P.M. in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. So it's going to be on Fulton Street and Marcy. Okay. It's free. Um, I know Talib Kweli and Reese are going to be doing a set. Mm -hmm. um, they have a group called Idol Worship. Um, Most Def will be there. And one of my favorite MCs, Farrell Monch, is also going to be there. So I'm looking forward to that. And I guess I'll see you there. Oh, see, I like this. I like Jen. Jen is cool. I'm trying to be cool. <laughs> I don't hey, sing, but I'm cool. One of the lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some history. Oh, yeah. In the uh, performing club. In yeah. The yeah. Lyricist Lounge was like a is like, Lyricist Lounge was like a mobile um, hip hop show. And I mean, you have artists like Most Death, Talib Kweli, Common, Eminem even have gone through this. There used to be like a circuit of MCs that would go from town to town. Oh, really? And yeah, I think okay. I don't remember how often they did it, and they would have these different performances, mm -hmm. um, freestyles. They actually mm -hmm. had two compilation albums. And uh, I just missed that era. Just, I mean, just um, lyrically, performance-wise, like they had an idea. Of how to put on a good hip hop show, mm -hmm. um, you know, minus a lot of the misogyny and all the other things. Right. I mean, you know. Right. But I think each generation has, you know, differences, upgrades. But I think, I think commercially, what what the problem is is you're not getting the whole pie. You're getting one slice of that mm -hmm. whole pie when there's all these other styles of mm -hmm. MCing and music. Period. You know that that could be exposed. I think it's coming back though. Yeah. You know, it always goes around and comes back around, yeah. so. I think so, but you know what? How, I guess, how commercial would it be? Because, I mean, it's, honestly, I think it's always been there. Mm -hmm. But on, like, the grassroots level, you can always find an amazing R&B artist or an amazing MC who has a message. But I guess to some of these companies, is that message able to sell? But... Well, yeah. with the Tyler Perrys and the Will Smiths and the Jay Zs, right. we can have our own companies. And, um, you know I, what? I did kind of rhyme. I agree. You heard that? I did. I did. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get Janice to freestyle, even if not today. She's definitely gonna. We'll figure out a way to get her back here, and we are gonna get her freestyle. She said that if I mentioned Jay Z, which I mentioned twice, Jay Z, she's gonna she's gonna spit a rhyme. But you know, we'll we'll figure we'll figure, we'll figure it out. Dude. You spit around. Oh, Say hello oh, to the bad guy. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, okay. Let me Kick see. Let me see I'm American see gangster all oh, the way. Boy. Okay. All right. Let me see. I flow like none. You flow like young. My flow's quite hung. Yours about the size of a thumb. I'm sizing them dumb. Dumbs for the dunce cap. Test me. You get thump flat. Leaving you like quasi with a hump back. The bump's back and I'm bringing it with me. Some of y'all spittin's like Bobby getting with Whitney. Shoulda never happened. I'm like a screen with no closed caption. You can't see what I'm saying while I'm rapping. That's just a little, that's a little bit. That's, that's Jebo <laughs> in the house. <laughs> in the house. Oh, man. This is great. I like this. I like this that. Oh, this is Turn, Turn Off, off the, radio. the Radio with Omni Blaze and the beautiful Janice. A.K.A. Miss J. Yeah. On HarlemTalkRadio.com. <laughs> I've been dying to do that. <laughs> okay. All right. So, once again, um, I'll be giving you guys a lot of information, where to go, who to see, where to see them. And thank you. Harlem Talk Radio brings you news and information at Stimulating Talk Radio on the Harlem community. We cover business, education, entertainment, health, politics, technology, finance, and lots more. You gonna tell us? Okay, you're on. All right, and we're back 
Once again, this is Turn Off the Radio on HarlemTalkRadio.com. I'm Omni Blaze, and we have... A.K.A. Miss J. That's right. Beautiful Janice. Oh, thank you. And um, again, we're just kind of shooting the breeze, kind of letting you guys know what this show is going to be about. And it's all about introducing you to your local artists, um, people that wouldn't necessarily get the energy, uh, the exposure that these commercial artists get. Now are we going to go out and find these people? Oh, yeah, of course we will. Definitely. Of course we will. Okay, good. There's actually several venues where you can find them. I mean, there's, I mean, there's always New Eureka. And, oh, and we also expand this to poets as well. Because, I mean, if you look at it, emceeing is really poetry and music. Yes, it is. So, um, and there's a lot of dope, dope spoken word artists. Um... There's a couple of venues we can go. Um, a friend of mine is actually, i got to find out the name of it. There's actually a venue, a new spoken word venue in Harlem. So I think that's... Oh, that's w- cool. Yeah, we're going to look out for that, too. Maybe I'll get on the stage one day. Oh, uh-oh. I'm a poet. Okay. See. Bet you didn't know it. I, see, <laughs> I could have I finished that line. I could have finished the line for it. I could have finished that. Langston but that's cool. Hughes, <laughs> my mentor. Love my Langston Hughes. Yeah, but there's yeah. Um, several venues. Of course, there's the legendary New Eurekan. Okay. Um, well, they've at Soul the Cafe. Soul Cafe in Brooklyn. Yep. Okay. Yep. Soul Cafe is one. There's um, what else? There's a couple. Um, there's Soleil. There is Brooklyn Moon. Okay. They also have some spots there too. And now there's one in Harlem. Yep. So That's we gotta, good. We gotta, we gotta go scout that. Okay. One but yeah, definitely. So, who are some of your favorite artists that you like listening to? You know, I love Jay Z. Yeah. Come on, and he loves the Celestine Prophecy. That's his favorite book. Yeah. Oh yes, Celestine Prophecy. Yes. I, I like um, Jay Z. He's in. He, I think I like him because he he he's intelligent and he knows. What he needs to do, like he has a song that says he had to he had to dumb down his lyrics to double his dollars. Had to dumb down my lyrics and double my dollars. Y'all ends wanna hate me, but y'all all all yeah, holla. What? (laughs) What? (laughs) See, she done quoted a Jay Z lyric, y'all. She done quoted a Jay Z lyric, y'all. Okay. That's right. But yeah, you know, and and he realizes, and I think that's what I'm that compromise I'm talking about. Like you have to decide what you're willing to do because even though he did that, I mean, he also went to Africa and supplied them with water you know right. so he tries to balance that he knows the music maybe not won't have the most positive message but he tries to do positive right. things behind the scene um to try to balance that off so and you're listening to turn off the radio with omni blaze on harlemtalkradio.com yes indeed now so you said jay-z who else do you listen to young jay-z cause okay, ride young till jay-z. i die <laughs> Young Jeezy. <laughs> oh, you know, that's actually going to be one of our topics in talking about the influence of Southern hip hop. Is he Southern? Oh uh, yeah, Young Jeezy. Yeah. No way. I'm pretty I would have never known that. But that's and that's the thing. I don't know. even care. Exactly. Yeah, because you know, I think it's it, for me. His voice is what he has that great. Ah, tell I yeah, die. exactly. He's that great voice. Oh, no, no, stay high. <laughs> and I love it. I'm like, I love it too. <laughs> We gonna get it a freestyle. Watch, I'm telling you. We I'll be freestyling all that music. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, so that's one of the topics I want to explore because okay. I think, you know, if you look at commercially, like Southern hip hop is really taking over um, a lot of the radio clubs. Okay. And back in the day, it was more the East Coast rap. Right. So, and I guess a lot of hip hop purists don't really consider that a real. A legitimate branch of hip hop, but it's all hip hop. It's all you know, based on your region and where you're from. And it all came from hip hop. The hip exactly. is the hip hip hop. Exactly. You don't stop the rock. Exactly. Yes, exactly. it all came from the Sugar Hill Gang. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yes, where the chicken tastes like wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I actually met the DJ from Sugar Hill Gang a couple of weeks back. At um, Gizzy's Lounge, and they're, they're still performing. I love it. Yeah, still, they had a show actually in Las Vegas this past weekend. It was, it was, it was Sugar Hill Gang. It was Color Me Bad. Oh, who call, you Color Me Bad? Yeah, but you don't make me go home and put my CD on. Definitely, definitely. Oh my goodness. And Brian, and Brian also. Oh yeah, Bri- that's right. Yeah, Brian also. He, he kind of, he looks a little different. Kinda, okay, he looks a little different. Um. Wait, didn't um the woman who put Sugar Hill together didn't she? She just passed away recently. Yeah, it was founded in 1970 by Sylvia Robinson and her husband Joseph. What was that rappers? The rappers. Rappers. Life. And, the, and, and, and I think they, actually Eric Sermon, Redman, and Keith Murray did a remake of it. Yeah, they did a, it. Was, but this was like several years ago. I need they did to a hear remake this. Of it. The chicken still tastes like wood. 
I don't think there's <laughs> macaroni still soggy. Oh boy. Yep, yep. But this has been a lot of fun. Oh yes, it's been a whole lot of fun. And we're gonna get into a lot of things. This is just the first of many. I'm excited. I got me a new co host. She's uh -oh. I'm, saying? She's I'm in the house. <laughs> like LL Cool J in the house. Yep. yep. <laughs> and once again, this is Omni Blaze, and we're here with Janice, and this is Turn Off the Radio. Don't turn off HarlemTalkRadio.com, but turn off the commercial radio and get out those streets, get out to some of those venues, and see some of your local artists. Harlem Talk Radio brings you news and information at Stimulating Talk Radio on the Harlem community. We cover business, education, entertainment, health, politics, technology, finance, and lots more. 